Hello YouTube, this is a video question in a matter of speaking. I've set up my first fish tank here uh, a couple months ago and I was doing research on trying to get better water conditions for my fish and early on I got kind of a general idea on how to make a biofilter for um, for an aquarium and I did it my own way and now that I've learned even more about bio biofilters and sumps and different things which I do plan on having in future with skimmers and whatnot um, now I need to know if my significant investment above about seventy dollars was in vain uh, but first up I just want to go around the fish tank to let you know what's all in here um, these are rescue fish from a bait shop they were uh, going to be musky bait some of them and others less great fish like uh, bass but anyway they're flatheads and sucker minnows and I uh, when it comes to if you want a cheap solution that's a really hardy fish these sucker minnows really do a great job and they're vacuum cleaners they keep your gravel so spotless whenever I uh, vacuum out my gravel there's barely anything in it whatsoever because that's all these guys do is run around all day and suck up the gravel and find anything that uh, including fish food, fish, fish waste, different things but uh, yeah these are rescue from a bait shop um, it's flatheads and I, I don't know if they're red horse suckers or exactly what they are I'm assuming I have two different breeds in here. I have uh, this one that's there in the middle and off to the side, which you can kind of see it. It looks like there's a little bit of a glare, but there's a smaller one there next to that live plant in the middle. This tank is a 29-gallon tank. Uh, what's inside is I have a heater system that is made for a 30 to 60-gallon tank from Walmart. I have a filtration, uh, HOB filtration, uh, that doesn't have bio wheels sitting on the back of the tank, HOB, and that's rated for a 30 to a 60 gallon tank. Uh, here on the side, I have a power jet that is rated 30 to 60, and it has a add-on bubble, um, hose that you can add to the top of it and it'll add uh, aeration to your water along with fil with uh, putting a current in your tank but I don't have that trucked up currently uh, just because the micro bubbles kind of make it so things are a little bit harder to see and that's all that's inside of the tank uh, as you can see I have a large amount of fish in here probably if I had to guess about 30 and although you would think that this would be a little bit overpopulated for a tank as of right now none of my uh, testing equipment you know for pH and nitrate and nitrite or whatever it's called and ammonia all look good so and I think the reason being for this is because of this additional filtrate filter system that I made myself from parts at a hardware store. So we'll go ahead and get into that. And uh, my question is is whether or not I I assembled this and I think it's uh, just because of the fact that all it contains is gravel and um, carbon pellets that it's something that's going to have to be changed out or replaced in three months but unfortunately it's all glued together and I'm afraid that it's going to be something that's going to have to be uh, changed out and gotten rid of later on and I'm hoping that isn't the case I'm hoping that it's something that I can use for a very 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 long time as it's all glued together and it's either I'm going to use it or throw it away so um, how it works is it has a submus, submit, um, <laughs> what is that? 
submersible, submersible, sub, yeah, that one, pump for a fountain, and it pumps up into this PVC pipe and out the back, which takes it about up to there, and then gravity has to do the rest of the work to run it down into this filter. And this is 4-inch PVC pipe, and what it has is uh, about two filters and then some gravel. Actually, I think it's two filters and then carbon pellets and then two filters and then carbon pellets. Two filters and then a whole bunch of gravel. And then two filters and then carbon pellets and then gravel up to the top with two filters. Actually, I think this top part has four filters in it. Now, I don't, I don't think that solid waste can actually enter this um, because of the pump. It's only for water. And you can see what kind of flow it has, which isn't a whole lot. Um, the pump itself is rated for 60 gallons per hour. However, I don't think it actually pulls... Um, I don't believe that it has that much uh, push to it. I think, uh, you know, fighting gravity, it loses a little bit of it, but it's a pretty good flow to it. And this whole thing probably weighs about a, as much of a gallon of milk, maybe a little bit more. So it's all glued together, and it's hooked up in a way that I'm hoping later on after I build a sump that it'll drain through that into a bio into a bio ball setup but for right now this is what I have and like I said my my water quality has always been great after installing this it's never cloudy I mean my it's to the extreme of you know uh, about the best that I could ever expect out of a regular system so tell me what you think and I'm just going to pan around here real quick and then I'm going to go into a little flash uh, slideshow that I made to kind of give you an idea of how everything works. And please let me know whether or not you think it was a waste of time um, and money, which I'm hoping that won't be the case. And you guys will tell me, no, this is awesome and you can use it until you get money. <laughs> so... There's Mr. Vacuum Cleaner right there. That's all he does. And uh, another thing about getting um, rescues from a bait shop is I've talked to the bait shop owners. They don't feed these guys anything, and it takes them almost like 10 days or more to really understand that they are a fish and that they should eat and different things were... He's been in the tank for probably about three weeks, something along those lines, and you can see how active he is. He's always looking for food and running around, whereas that's what this guy does, which might just be all he may ever do, which is okay. He can live here as long as he can survive, and he'll still do better than he did back at the bait shop, so... All right, well, thank you for checking out my tank. Thank you. And to continue, I just wanted to show um, kind of a little diagram of how I made it. Um, it has three layers of carbon pellets and then two layers of gravel with filters in between, as I stated before. So, again, um... You know, let me know if I'm going to have to change this out in three months or exactly what I can do with this. And if anyone, if, if this, anyone, if, if any manufactured product looks like this or something like that, tell me what the heck it is. So, alright, thanks.